So a few years ago, I used to do budget videos. I don't do them anymore, mostly because other topics became more popular on my channel and I tended to go where the money and the audience was. But I have a few people that have been following me for a long time that keep asking me to bring back the budget videos. And while this isn't a typical budget video, I am gonna go over my expenses and my income now so we can see how different it is now than it was a few years ago. For this video, I'm just gonna average over the last three months and break it down to a monthly figure because my income is quite different now than it was before. So I've just averaged the last three months. So we'll go from there, we'll see what a typical month is for me. So let's just get into it and start with expenses. What am I paying now? So one of the biggest changes is rent. I pay a lot more rent now. Before I was paying roughly $500 a week for a three bedroom house, and now I'm paying $1,100 for a three bedroom unit. But I think it's worth it, clearly. So that's a substantial difference over double what I was originally paying, although they were going to put my rent up to 650 a week at my old place, which is one of the reasons I wanted to move as well as living somewhere a little bit nicer. So $1,100 for sake of easy math is $4,400 a month. And yes, I know a typical month isn't four weeks, it's 4.2 weeks, but let's just go for the easy math. I used to spend around $200 a week on food. Now it's closer to about $350 a week, which is about $1,400 a month on groceries. Wow, food is so expensive these days. I actually don't spend any money on takeout anymore, so that's gone down to zero. I'm either cooking at home or going out. I bought a new car, which only takes about $50 to fill up a tank, which is great and way cheaper than my other car. And I probably fill that up two, maybe three times a month. So let's say $150. My phone is $39 a month. I'm filming on it. My internet is $80 a month. I spend about $100 a week on shopping or things, sometimes not that much. But let's say $400 a month on clothes, things, general stuff. It probably averages around $150 going out, dinner, drinks, events. Not always that much, but that's the average. So let's just say $600 a month on entertainment and fun, which is a lot more than I used to. Remember the days when I used to be frugal? Approximately $20 a month on business expenses, like subscriptions and things like that. Probably around $200 a month for gas, electricity, hot water. I only pay insurance and registration once a year, but it averages out to be about $100 a month. And let's just add an extra $100 for all those things that you know they always come up. So my expenses now are around $7,500 a month. Can I afford it? So let's go into my income. I still have a bunch of books that I've written that still sell and probably earn me around $200 a month. So not a lot. I'm planning to write another one soon, eventually, one day. I average around $600 a month from AdSense on my YouTube channel, sometimes more, sometimes less. Maybe another $600 from different business incomes because I do have a few websites, old websites that still have advertising on them. I have a few digital products that are floating around that still sell. So maybe another five, $600 a month from that. My dividend income has gone up. I average around $7,500 in dividend income now. And that's mainly because instead of trying to get income coming in every single month is what I used to do, I've consolidated that to just the major companies that pay me the most and are most beneficial to my income. So it's sort of, I'm not getting money every single month now, but I'm getting some really big months that pay a lot. So I've consolidated my portfolio a bit just so it pays me more, but dividends have also increased over the last four or five years anyway. So that's about what my dividend income is now. So my income is around the $9,000 mark now per month. I'd like to get it to that $10,000. That's what I'm hoping to get to next, but that's where it is at the moment which means my cash flow is still fine. I'm still having a surplus of around $1,000, $1,500 a month. Now that varies obviously, but that's the average each month. And usually I'm putting that into either a savings account so I can go on another great holiday soon, or sometimes just for those extra expenses that pop up. So there you go. My expenses have increased quite dramatically, but my income has also increased. And since I'm all about having fun and going out and spending money now, rather than being the frugal princess that I used to be, 
this is where we're at. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.